Guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm just going to do a quick preview of the quarterfinals of the UFC Universe mode that I've been doing. And I'm also going to do a little preview of the semi-finals. So anyone that's not watched the rest of the, the rest of the series and you want to watch the rest of the series, then click off this video now and go to my playlist because this is going to spoil the results for you. So I'm going to get through it as quickly as I can. So at Bantamweight, this was one of the best cards actually, and you had Cejudo beating Sterling by decision, and Dillashaw knocked out Peter Yarn, and Dominic Cruz. EA Sports' judging gave it to Marlon Moraes, but we overturned it um, and gave it to Dominic Cruz. Um, and likewise with Cody Garbrandt, so I think the right result has, has come about there. So that's going to be a good fight, it's going to be interesting, I do think Garbrandt will take it. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what Cruz can do. And Dillashaw versus Hudo is going to be all about the the grappling, like whether or not how early can Hudo get him down? Because we saw that Jan was able to get Dillashaw down, um, but Hudo's striking was was not very good against Sterling. So let me know who you think is going to win that one, and let me know who you think is going to be the bantamweight champion. Right now we've got featherweight next. So this was, this card had potential. It didn't really live up to the expectations because of some arm bars from Mount. But now I've nerfed submissions even more than I originally did. Hopefully that will not be the case anymore. So we had Yeo Rodriguez in maybe one of the best knockouts of the entire quarterfinal. Clarted Edson Barboza with a head kick. Um, Emmett versus Zabit was a really good fight. But unfortunately it ended a bit shit when when Zabit just armbarred Josh Emmett. So Yair versus Zabit should be interesting. Um, Yair will probably get the better of the striking based on what we saw in the first round, but Zabit might be able to take him down and get an armbar from Mount. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Holloway versus Stevens, a fight that was going really well. Like I was liking the way that they matched up and then Holloway decided to armbar him from Mount. So yeah, there's a bit of a theme emerging here. So that had that had a lot of potential, and then the Volkanovski submitting after Ortega from from Mount. Anyone that saw that, oh god, that was infuriating. So that's what we that's what we're getting out of it. The plus side is we get Holloway versus Volkanovski in a three rounder. So one of them two won't be in the final, but we do get to see that fight. So let's move on. We've got the lightweight, which is very interesting. You had obviously Eddie Alvarez. Got submitted really early by Khabib. Um, another armbar from Mount, which I wasn't too happy about, but I do think Khabib would submit Eddie Alvarez if they fought, maybe not in the first round. Uh, Ferguson beat Dan Hooker. So we're going to see the fight that has never been made in real life, versus which is Khabib and Tony Ferguson. And I do think Khabib will win, because if Ferguson, Ferguson tried to submit Dan Hooker several times and weren't able to do it, how's he going to submit Khabib? So I think that's that's how that one's going to go. And you've got Justin Gaethje versus Awaya Quinta. And Awaya Quinta obviously picked up probably the upset of the competition, where he basically boxed with Conor McGregor for three rounds and ends up knocking him out. So that was incredible. That was another one that's sort of in the in the shouts for a knockout of knockout of the quarterfinals. And then obviously Gaethje versus Poirier. Gaethje uncharacteristically took Poirier down, and then I believe he choked him out with a rear naked choke. So, what the fuck? Anyway, I think it's going to be most likely Gaethje versus Khabib in the final, which is quite fitting as we're about to see that fight in real life. Moving on then, you've got welterweight. And take these, the quarterfinal, I'm kind of taking this with a pinch of salt. Because this was the first one that I ever did. So I hadn't nerfed submissions, I hadn't nerfed transitions, and I didn't really know what was going to happen when I set this event up. So Usman submitted Woodley with an armbar from Mount. Uh, Masvidal submitted Gilbert Burns unbelievably with an armbar from Mount after being cracked. And um, St. Pierre submitted Lawler, although you know he did it after coming back from a near death experience. And then Leon Edwards beat Colby by decision in which was probably the most realistic fight out of these lot. Well, definitely the most realistic. So you've got Usman versus Masvidal, St. Pierre versus Edwards, let me know who you think is going to be in the final. I do think we're going to end up with Usman versus GSP, which is a fight that a lot of people have speculated about in real life, interestingly enough. So middleweight, middleweight. 
So that's the most recent one that we've done, so that's quite fresh in the old memory. Uh, Romero versus Cannoneer. Um, Romero obviously won. It was quite a dodgy decision. Um, I thought they would give that to Cannoneer, but it was close enough to where I do think it could have gone either way. And the same thing sort of happened in the Gastelum fight. I did think Gastelum won it, but it was it was super, super close. Jacare Souza versus Adesanya. I mean, he couldn't take Adesanya down, but he somehow outstruck him and ended up submitting him after knocking him down with a head kick. Now, that was not how I expected that one to go. And Whitaker looked excellent against Paulo Costa. Completely outstruck him, swept him after being taken down by Costa on the ground. But this is the thing, he's been taken down by Costa. So I do think that there's a very good chance Jacare takes down Whitaker and submits him because Jacare is not Paulo Costa. So I do think we'll end up with, I think the final here is most likely going to be Jacare versus Romero, but we will see what happens. So moving on then to the light heavyweight. This one again was very, very early on. So this was the second, it's actually the second card I think we ever did. So this is UFC Universe episode two we're talking about. So you had Dominic Reyes absolutely destroying Anthony Johnson in what was the main event. I mean, he did get clocked, but he looked incredible in that fight. He's looked, I think that was one of the best performances that, that anyone's done in this round. So Chuck Liddell obviously knocks out Alexander Gustafsson in the third round, but I do think he's a massive underdog going into the fight with Reyes. I think Reyes obviously is quicker. Um, the power... Liddell's got a bit more power, but there's not a lot in it. And Reyes are just so much more well-rounded, better kicks, the footwork's rated better, better head movement, all that sort of thing. So I do think that Reyes, there's no reason why he shouldn't win that. Um, the other semi-final was a lot closer. So you had two decisions here, Teixeira versus Jones, which was a very close fight. I do think it was fair that Teixeira won. Um, he, did, he did quite well, got a takedown right near the end. And then obviously Bukovic absolutely destroyed Tiago Santos, but probably disappointing not to get the finish. Um, but this will be a good little boxing match. Good little boxing match because Bukovic, Bukovic is obviously better from distance, probably slightly quicker, but Glover's got power. They've both got power. So I think that could be a bit of a toss-up. I think that is almost 50-50. I think Blachowicz will probably win based on first-round performance, but I don't really know. I think we're going to get a blachowicz reyes final, but let me know what you guys think. And heavyweight, finally. Very hard to know what's going to happen here because the first round was just so, so disappointing. I mean, Vadum took down Stipe and submitted him. Uh, Blade submitted over him, which another armbar from Mount, just completely unrealistic. And yeah, all of these ended by submission. They were all armbars from Mount. Um, and Francis Ngannou, German suplex, and Daniel Cormier, you know, what is that about? What's that about? So I really hope they did bring a new gameplay patch in to update it. So I'm hoping that that makes a bit of a difference. But if the same shit starts happening, I might have to just... I might have to just fuck this division off because I don't, I don't like it. Like it's not, it's not going to be any fun to watch Ngannou go around submitting people. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that because he just wouldn't do it. So that's a wrap up of all the divisions, guys. Again, I don't know what's going to happen in this one, but as always, subscribe to the channel. Um, it is all on a playlist. So this is being linked to a playlist. All the other videos have been linked to a playlist, um, which is the UFC 4 Universe Mode playlist. So by all means, click on that and go through some of the videos if you haven't seen all of them already. Uh, but we will be progressing now through the semi-finals. Um, so we're going to be doing cards, cards of four fights, and we're going to be doing two semi-finals on each card. And obviously the welterweight, the welterweight semi-final is the next video up. So that's going to be GSP versus Leon Edwards with Masvidal versus Usman as the main event. We're also going to have two random fights. I believe that I put Corey Anderson versus Nikita Krylov, which is obviously two currently unseen fighters within this universe. And then we've also got in the bantamweight division, it's Pedro Munoz versus 
Almeida, can't remember the first name, <laughs> there's loads of Almeidas in MMA, but anyway guys, thanks very much for watching, let me know what you think is going to happen, and I'll see you next time.